Hello again. I have since heard a great deal about you. For one, that you are most gentle of heart. I too am bound by duty, but can offer you my sign. I hear that cordial intrusion lays the path to embers. If I can be of help, by all means, do call upon me. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. If you should require blessing... Huh. I almost forgot about you. Ow! Almost forgot about you. Not completely, though. Ooh, nice. Titanite charge for free. And deep gem. Right, right. There wasn't much all that useful over here. Okay. Well, you are certainly being pretty cooperative thus far. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh. Nope. You're too slow. I'm too fast. Actually, why am I stabbing you? What's the, what's the point? Let's just not bother. Or trying to parry you, I should say. Why am I trying to parry you? That's silly. Anyway, bread of orb and pale tongue. Okay, so that's one more bit of little things to take care of. And now back to the main event. Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to more enjoying of Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Chad, if you're 333. And we are continuing along the Farron Keep. I need a little bit of side questing going on beforehand just to deal with, well, a couple of the side quests and also, of course, to get that Crack Red Eye Orb and a couple other little things that I missed along the way. But now we're back to Farron Keep, where everything is poison. And slugs. And poison slugs that occasionally drop Titanite, so there's some point in killing them. And did you drop anything? No, you didn't, you jerk. You jerk. Okay, so... This is the second half of Fair and Keep. Possibly second, third, depending on how long it takes, but I'm fairly certain I can do this quickly enough. Ah, yes, and the tree spirits. And there's Estes Soup over there. I'm gonna hold on to that for a little while. Just as I take care of the rest of this. Yeah. Oh, you're annoying. Yeah. Ha! So the idea at this point being basically get around... Get to some of these areas here, pick up some of the stuff, kill the trees, maybe deal with these tree things. I guess the Gru's really is the big problem. And most importantly, get rid of the fires. That's the biggest thing. There's fires. We have we, we have extinguished one. There are two remaining. Once those are taken care of, then the Abyss Watchers are open to be killed, which hopefully will happen quickly rather than after several dozen tries. And I kind of expect it won't be too big of a deal. I just... I feel like it's not going to be as hard the second time around. Something about the way that I was doing it the first time makes me think that it was more down to me than down to the actual fight. Also, nameless stuff. How does this work? Oh, now's a bad time. All right, Hazel. I'm more or less ready for you. By more or less, I mean, where are you? Yellow finger hazel. Now you're in here somewhere. NPC invader, but might as well. Seriously, where did they go? They invaded around here, so I would expect that they'd be somewhere around here if they were actually going to fight me. But apparently they are cowards. So, forget them. Not even going to bother. They're, they'll show up when they show up. For the time being, I have this to kill. Yeah. I wonder if I can parry this. Ow! Not worth trying! Ow! Really not worth trying! Ow! How do I... Ow! This is not good! Why are there trees? There are trees! Everywhere! I was ill-advised to go over this tree! Ah! There we go. Okay. I think I can still take care of this. It's just tough because there's so much stuff happening. But I... Ow! Well, it's... Not that terrible. Ah! Uh, oh wait, what am I doing? I, I, ah! Screw it, I'll kill you anyway. 
just need to avoid that, and we're good. Okay. Not so bad. When there's only one of them, I'll grant. I mean, it's way worse than this when there's more than one, but now I'm out of FP. That's worrisome. Also, I might as well just get rid of the poison for now. I think I can get to this next area without having to go through another tree. And quickly enough so I don't get poisoned. Yes, I can avoid getting poisoned. I cannot avoid another tree, though. That's going to be a pain. And that means I can't use the... Ow. I can't... Ow! Crap. Stupid spirits. Vengeful spirits of the dead. Yes, yes, yes. I get it. I get it. I've killed too many things to be let go that easily. Actually, that's not so bad. That's nowhere near as much damage as I thought it would be. And we have another one of the fires. Wow, that was way easier than I expected. So that's two out of three, and the third one, as I recall, is the hardest one, although I did actually pass by it. Now I'm starting to regret having not put it out when I had the chance. But that's fine. It'll be dealt with in due time. So, two out of three. I mean, when that door opens, there's actually a fair bit more before getting to the Abyss Watchers. It actually opens quite a lot, and the Abyss Watchers are just part of it. There's actually a shortcut back to the Road of Sacrifices and another Titanite Lizard. I mean, I don't need Titanite Scales at the moment, but I will eventually. Also, I think there was some Gru that jumped me over here. Oh, hey, it's Hazel! Well, that's nice. I mean, you've showed up, and you're a real pain in the ass, but you showed up anyway. And now, I get to kill you. I mean, that sounds like a good deal to me. Ow! Well, okay, if I can actually hit you... Stupid pick. Oh, great. No, crap, I'm dead. I'm dead. There's no way out of this. There's no way I can survive this at all. Like, there... I can't... I can't? There's too much going on. I don't have enough Estus. Ah, great. No, like I said, I can't possibly survive that. It's just, I needed more Estus, and I'm... I'm really annoyed I didn't have another bonfire to recover from on that side. I mean, Old Wolf of Farron is close to this, yes, and it's kind of on the way. It's just going this way, I can get to the, where the basilisks were without having to worry about where all the grooves are. And I think we're not worrying about all the trees. Oh, this is the same spot. Darn it. This doesn't help any. And now there's that tree thing again. As we've established, fighting those is just not worth it. Like, I can sort of do it. It's just not worth it. And as we also established, I don't remember where the heck the entrance is to that one ramp area. Unless it's this. I mean, that might be it. Let's see. Are you going to come after me or what? Because you need to make up your mind now. Also, I want to ember up so I can get Hazel back. I want to deal with this Hazel stuff. Where is Yellowfinger Hazel? They should show up sometime around now. Ah, I can kill you now! Ha! You don't have to worry about your stupid attacks! Alright. Now, if I knew where Hazel was and not just where they ended up, I'd be in much better shape. Also just realized that the area right past there is actually the spot where I was thinking of with the shortcuts and such. Also, also, I just realized that this area is the hard spot. So, the last place to go is going to be easier than what I've gone through so far. Ah, there they are. All right, Hazel. Get over here. Oh, wait, I can just, I can shoot you. Bing. Ow. Okay, I can't shoot you productively. Wow, you can deal that much damage with Farron Dart? Are you joking? I mean, that's pretty good. Alright, what are you gonna do? Ah, you're gonna heal. Of course you're gonna heal. Thankfully, you don't have any way of parrying. As I discovered, as I have discovered in my past, there is no way of parrying when you... Ow, for crying out loud, seriously? Ah, that stupid pick. Not a fan of that pick. Like, it's just too fast in a really weird way. Ah, come on, just die. You are out of Estus, so there's not much you can do to me after I avoid getting hit by you. Yep, like that. 
Good luck with that. And why parry? Why parry when I can just kill them in any other old way? And I you know, got my Estus back at least. I think I can't feel too bad. All right, so the area there, I think I have to go through the old the area I get through after I open up all the fires. But let's check. I might be wrong. This might actually be more accessible than I imagine. Also, not you. Go away. Ah, get out of here. Thankfully, they haven't hit me yet. Yet, being the operative word, I'm... Ah, don't curse me. Please don't curse me. All right, curse goo's gone. Or fog. Fog goo, same thing. Different state. Different phase of matter, same thing. Okay, there's... There's a scroll here somewhere. I think it's just past here. Maybe it's just past here. Or maybe I'm completely wrong. There's something over here, though. Like, one of the... This is actually the thing I was talking about before, the scroll with all the hiding spells. Like, hidden body and hidden weapon and... Ah! Here we are. There's the cave. That's what I want. Let's get in there. And what do we have? Golden scroll and an empty chest. I wonder if that's filled with things if I kill somebody. And a not-so-empty chest. Filled with a bunch of Dusk's clothing. Dusk Velocial being an NPC in the original Dark Souls, which doesn't really apply anymore. Oh, no, it's antiquated dress. That's what it is. Yeah, no. I'm a bit curious about Nameless Knight, though. Eh, it's not terribly looking. It's actually worse than Sellsword in most ways. Yeah, Sellsword is better... Nameless might be a better weight to power ratio, though. And let's see. Nameless is in here. Nameless Night Gauntlets is actually a better weight to power ratio than the Drang Gauntlets. Wow. Oh, I see. It's No, it's not better weight to power, but I can definitely wear it. And the Nameless Night Leggings. More power. Or more absorption. Still a bit heavier. Deals with everything better than... Except for fire. And fire's all... That's all I'm worried about right now. And I'm guessing if I were to throw onto the Cell Sword Twin Blades, yeah, that's, I don't have enough for that. Okay, so I'd have to think about it if, if I were to go for these, for the boss fight. Oh, actually, come to think of it, Nameless Knight does provide me a bit more absorption for fire. Hmm. And that would allow me to wield the Twin Blade? No, no, it would not. Hmm. Wow, I'm really getting weak to magic here. Okay, you know what? Let's let's not optimize for that yet. Let's optimize for that when it comes up. Like, when I actually need to care, then I'll worry about that. Otherwise, it's not worth it. Get myself a little more even in my overall defensive power. Yeah, there we go. All right, perfect. Oh, and I'm dying. That's bad. As those of you who are alive currently know, dying is bad. Try not to do it. It tends to not end well. Mostly because it tends to just end. So considering the circumstances of the area, where I am now and what I have to deal with in order to continue, I think my best bet is actually just go back up to where I was just. Because that area there I can't get to until I get the f all three fires dealt with. And then from up here, I can probably find where the next fire is. That's the key thing. Once I figured that out, then I can just go there. I don't have to worry about anything except maybe some trees. But I'm fairly certain, as I mentioned prior, that I don't have to worry about trees. And by fairly certain, I mean not at all certain, because I feel like I have to worry about trees. Although, if I go around the other... S no, I have to worry about trees. That tree in particular will come after me. Because the other fire is pretty close by. You know what? There's a better option here. It's called a Homeward Bone. Of which I have plenty. Bonfire last rest of that. Let's just get out of here. Because the area that I'm going to be going back to, that I think I can turn right from. Go through a few Gru, which admittedly are a pain in the butt. I agree. I know. But, if I go through there, I can at least find a more effective way of getting to that fire, which is... Where the heck is it? I thought it was over here, but... Because the area I just went through is to my right. Which means that the fire I'm thinking of is even further to my right. 
which means that I'd have to go through to it by getting to the right, but I could be entirely wrong. I'm gonna have to go through those Gru. Am I? Okay, I'm just gonna... Let's just deal with some little paperwork. Deal with some fun things in the back in the Firelink Shrine, and once that's done, I'll... I'll then deal with the Gru. Oops. Now to kill some Gru. And be moderately careful while doing so. And there's crabs there too? Okay. Oh, good, these are easier. These are way easier. Oh, they die in like one pair of, like two hits, they're dead. Oh, good. Of course, the other problem is crabs. I have crabs to deal with. I don't like dealing with crabs, but I can sort of do it. Wait, what else am I dealing with here? There's something else up there. Is that another crab? I wish I knew what that was over there. What's over there? Oh! Oh! Is the giant helping me? The giant's helping me! I didn't think they'd be able to see me from here. Oh, and a lingering dragon crest ring. That could be potentially useful. Oh, hey, it's another white... Hey, it's another white birch. Cool. I don't remember this one. Crown of Dusk. Hey, that's Dusk's old thing. Oh, hey, you know what? That's headgear. That's headgear that doesn't get in the way of my hair. Oh, wait, but that... Oh, never mind. That's actually a bad idea. I just remembered Crown of Dusk is actually terrible against magic. I mean, it does increase my defense slightly, but it's like my absorption just goes... Right down the t actually, you know, I could I can manage that. It doesn't look very good though. Yeah, I just have weird elf wing ears now. That's how I am. Also, seriously, this is this is weird. I don't remember this area one bit. I mean, Grant Farren Keep is a pretty difficult to navigate area. It's a giant flat thing, which really you only navigate by seeing little white dots in the distance because that's stuff you haven't picked up yet. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of landmarks. Oh. Huh. Oh! I guess Sarah's supposed to be Ulysseal. Like, from back in the day, and, you know, it's been a while. And the groom must have taken over from the old mushroom people. Ah! Now you're dead. Alright. I can't say I feel a whole lot of sympathy for the old mushroom people, because... Granted, Elizabeth was nice, but otherwise, no, I don't really care. Ooh, Sage's Scroll. This I don't remember. I mean, I remember the Golden Scroll. Crystal Sages. Give her sorcerer to learn the sorceries of the Sages. As any sorcerer knows, sorcery is a talent, and these sorceries were refined to nurture a very special talent. That of the Crystal Sages, who we killed. So, they can't have been that good. But hey, more sorceries. I've got to check if I actually did get that before, because I don't know if I did. Oh. Well, uh, you know, I can just sort of grab this and hope for the best. I'm not trying to fight these, that's for sure. Oh, poison gem. Oh, ow! I'm gonna die. But this is a cool find. I gotta say, I found some pretty neat things exploring around here. Pretty neat things that I'm gonna probably be spending my life on to try to get away with. Because I don't really see the point of fighting those. Oh. And this is actually the place I was looking for. Well, wouldn't you know it? Oh, wait, no, it's not. This is a different place. This is a totally different place that had nothing to do with anything I was already finding. I've already found this one. That was the first one I found. Wait, seriously? Yes, yeah, seriously. Well, the search continues. Emboldened by seeing the fire off in the dist... I think I know what I'm doing wrong. I actually legitimately think I know what I'm doing wrong here. See, the thing about the fire in the distance is that it's way off in the distance. It's on the other side of Farron Keep entirely, and that's where the problem is coming in. Because I'm trying to get back to an area of Farron Keep that I haven't started in. The better option is to start where that is, and then, I believe, go right. Because this area is where you get to going left. And I remember I went right in the first place, and that's when I found a fire that I never put out in the first place. 
Although I do recall seeing some Gru. Oh, wait, it's over there. Well, I guess I'll just go towards it then. I mean, this is also where the Gru are, as I recall. That's also where the Berserk Gut Sword is. This this platform up here, which some Grus will follow me up if I go to it, but more things. I know I was wrong. It's the other side. I think it's some of the Gru dogs, though. I think it's those little things that I thought, nah, it's not a big deal. I can deal with them. Purple Moss Clump, always welcome. Although, admittedly, not always useful. And on the other side, of course, is the giant brigade sword that I'm not going to use, but for collection's sake, I'm going to pick up. And, oh, it's just a great sword. That's all it is. And now you are dead, because you're a dog. And, well, you're kind of a dog. You kind of operate on dog logic. Is there anything to drop down to? I don't recall. Anyway, the... Let's double check. No, just more of these things. Which aren't anywhere near that difficult. Honestly, I I overestimated them. Alright, so as I recall, one of the dark hand things was over here. Oh, and you're one of the ones I don't like at all because of things like that. Ow. Ow. Actually, that's why I don't like you. That grab attack. That specific grab attack that you just did. You're twisting my neck. Ow. That's really a jerk move. I should be able to kill you before it becomes a problem, but seriously. You're like giant monkey trying to rip my head off. Giant orangutan. I think that's what they do. I'm not a professional orangutan. I don't speak for them. I also went the wrong way. I got distracted. Let's go back to the right way and actually deal with this. With renewed confidence. And now we get the last one. And the path to the Abyss Watchers opens. Except I'm nowhere near it because I didn't take this one when I had the chance, which I kind of regret. But, oh well, it happens. That's the way things go. So now we just have to deal with this last bit. Leading up to, and presumably including the Abyss Watchers. It's not an especially long bit, but it is still another chunk. Actually, I think I'll probably do what I normally do, which is kill the boss at the end of the episode, and the beginning of the next episode, just clean up the rest of it. That's my typical approach. Anyway, Corvians follow this, and they're a pain in the butt, as we've already encountered. Alright, what else am I dealing with down here? Oh, wow, this is a giant. I don't remember this section. Does, lead, does this lead back down to where I was planning to go? Please tell me it does. That'd be nice. Okay, you're easy. Oh, right, what am I doing? I'm trying to hit you with dual attacks. I don't have my dual weapons up. Oh, there we go. Right, well, I guess we'll just get to that gate. And here we are. Finally getting through the last leg of this journey through Farron Keep, having pretty much cleared out the entire thing except for the bits that I need through this section. And that will lead to the Abyss Watchers, which should lead to victory and catacombs. Because that's how it works in Dark Souls. You win a prize, it's usually already dead. Or in this case, undead. Because, you know, skeletons and the such. Skeletons and such and the like. Also, as I recall with this section, I want to go up top first. Because there's a Corvian Storyteller. Because that's what those things are called. The ones that have staves and scream all the time. Yeah. Thankfully, this one did not scream. It told no stories. It was dead. And as we all know, dead Corvians tell no tales. And that means everyone else here is trivial. Slightly tedious, but trivial. And there's one more you that I avoided in the first place. You! Oh, which actually is going to be a slight problem, but not a huge deal. Heals me up the one little bit that I lost, I think, dropping down. Okay, well, that's the Gorbians day, Gareth. That was easy. <laughs> wow, I, I played that up way more than it had any right to be played up. Now, this area, nothing really here. 
I remember before thinking there was a secret, but I've never found one. If there is, well, put something in the comments. Let me know exactly where to go. But that doesn't seem likely. I've I've checked pretty thoroughly. Unless I missed something. But I was fairly thorough. Okay. Ah, Dark Race, here we are! Very last leg of the journey, where the bonfire comes in and the shortcut. And the stuff that I figure, you know, let's deal with this after dealing with the Abyss Watchers. Although, that being said, I am close to a level up. And there's signs! Because people are helpful people. Anyway, let's just open up that shortcut. Why not? Especially worth noting, this is all technically the road of sacrifices. Oh, seriously? Yeah! Yeah! Stab! Give me my FP back. It's not much, but it's something. And you are still here. You are also not really paying attention. Which is fine. I'm perfectly happy for you to be completely oblivious to my presence until it's too late, and I have a knife up your butt. I hope you enjoy your free backstab. Everyone gets one. And now you. Ah. Uh. I mean, your last, the last one I fought of you did do a number on me, so I'll grant you, you are a threat. I gotta be careful here. Okay, this, I think, is where I can easily stagger it. And I am right! I can easily stagger it. Well, you were nowhere near as impressive as the last one of you I fought. Anyway, more Titanet scales is always good. And great ma- ooh, great magic weapon! Oh, can I cast that? Can I cast that? Please tell me yes. I can! I have enough intelligence for it. Awesome! I need to retune my spells, come to think of it, for this boss fight. I need to actually do a lot of things right now to deal with the pre-boss fight bits of the boss fight. So I'll be back with that in a second. Actually. I might as well grab these while I'm here. Hollow gem, not that I need it. With everything else out of the way, we are now left with the Abyss Watchers. And the run up to the Abyss Watchers, which does have a couple things, but I'm not going to worry about it. I mean, the Dark the dark Wraiths do their thing, and then there's a couple of Grues. Which are worth killing, just for the sake of getting them out of the way. But not really that big of a deal. How much HP do I have, by the way? Ooh, Embered Up, I have 1,000 HP. That is one thing I am focusing on. I mentioned before, I do want to have Vitality, because it, it's something I, I learned the hard way, that Vitality is actually kind of important. Having health, it, it matters. I'll grant this is with Ember, but without Ember, it's still 750 or so. Which is still a fair amount. Yeah, get ki- oh, you're not gonna get kicked. Get kicked! There we go, now you get kicked. And now you die. And now I don't get anything out of it because it's- I don't have the ruby. Aldrich stuff, you need that to get some value out of kicking. Or, not kicking, but critical attacks, specifically. Of course, I can still cut you repeatedly, and that'll work too. All right, well, you guys will die sooner or later, so all I care about is this. You guys have fun getting murdered by dark raids. I have a boss to fight. Now, this one's a tricky one too, because they fight each other, and that's just weird to get used to. Like, really legitimately weird to get used to. But, it does work. I mean, at least for the first phase of the fight, you can just let them fight each other. It's a bit tricky, though. Usually one of them will fight you, and the other two will fight each other, once there's three of them. And at the start, there's only one, and then one wakes up, and... Yeah, it's gonna get... It's gonna be a mess. If I'm lucky, it won't take me too many tries, but... Yeah, this is gonna be a complete mess, trying to deal with this stuff. I have, however, a slight advantage, which is that I can fire sorceries. And yes, that is a significant advantage. I actually should have switched over to this first. I, I was over here. I, you didn't have to do that. I mean, okay, you can if you. Oh, what really? Yeah, ha, da, da, da. Oh, wow, I can stag you real easily. That's quite nice, in fact. Ow, that's not so nice. And now there's a the second one after me. Come on, fight each other, fight each other, fight each other, please! God, fight each other! Why are you fighting me? 
There's more of you than there are me. I can't be anywhere near as juicy a target. Let's just let's just fire some soul arrows and have some fun. Ow. Okay, well now the main one's gotten mad. Thankfully, it's also gotten stunned. Ow! And it's got a friend, apparently. What a jerk. You jerk! How dare you help your ow! Technical rival! They're not your compatriot, they're your rival! You don't ow! Man, you got a weird reach. Okay, well, there's another one getting up. Ah. I mean, last time I fought this was actually a pure range build, no melee whatsoever. Range and sword. I was like, crossbows and sorceries was the entire build. And I did learn that sorceries right in the first phase is extremely powerful. Second phase, I had to use crossbows. It's way too fast to use sorceries. So I'm going to have to switch over probably to pure melee in this case. But yeah, the first phase, sorceries were extremely useful. But then it goes on fire and starts throwing fire attacks everywhere because it's basically Maria from Bloodborne's DLC. Which, to be fair, was my favorite fight in Bloodborne's DLC. Easiest fight by far, but still, favorite fight. Let's see how this works. Now that I think about it, one issue I had with this fight was dodging. And now I can do dodging positive edge. Let's see how that manages to help me out here. Alright, so you're gonna be a problem as I try to great magic weapon my way into a better position. Ah, not at first! Uh oh Darn it. I might have time. Barely, but yes. Ow. I mean, really barely. Okay, see, this is where my problems lie. Ow, how are you not getting stunned? Okay, now you're getting staggered. Oh, yeah, see what I mean? Positive edge stuff is nice. Ow. Let me go. Please don't touch me. Oh, this is annoying. I'm wasting a lot of S's just trying to get out of here. I mean, I'm using... Up, uh, I'm getting a lot of iframe value, which is nice, but it's still... How did that... How did that not hit? Oh, seriously? I'm dead. I'm dead? Oh, I can't believe I died. This fight was good as mine. Okay, I've got to try a different strategy, maybe. I don't... I know, I got, that strategy's fine. Strategy's fine. I just need to execute it better. Wait, I can just cut you. Again, we learned this last time. I can just cut you. Why are you not being cut effectively? Of course, your friend should be up by now. Ow. Ah, just get cut. Quit being so fast. Ah. Get cut and heal me. Ah, this is annoying. Okay, what? Man, I didn't remember this fight being quite this much of a pain in the butt. But hey, at least I have some breathing room now. Come at me! Ha! There we go. Okay, stage one, dealt with. Now, on to stage two. And again, I get a little bit of time, I think? Maybe. At best, I get a little bit of time. Ah, there we go. Stunlock? Not quite, Stunlock. Ow! Ow, how am I getting hit? That's not supposed to happen. All right. Okay, now we're in the state where I'm really scared. I don't have any iframes left. Oh, please let me, let me just heal up. Or at least Estus a bit. Okay. Now I, now I can fight this. Ah. Uh. Ah, there we go. Perfect. I, what? How are you poisoning through that? You're not supposed to do that. Ah, this is annoying. Okay, I'm going to have to think about this fight a little more carefully. Ow. Oh, seriously? Can I backstab you? I can't remember. I think I can. I know I can parry you, but I do not trust my parrying. Ah, uh, no. Uh, I know I can do this. I know I can do this. I've done this. 
twice. <sighs> They're just stop hitting me. It's amazing how fast these things move. Okay, now I can get you. Now I've got you dead to rights. At least for this stage. Stage one is actually the easiest stage. Easily the easiest stage. Just need to not die. All right, there we go. That, ah, ah. Ow, seriously? Last thing I needed was that. Last thing I needed was you dodging my spells. Okay. That's stage one. And the question is, can I great magic weapon in the time it takes for it to wake up? And the answer is yes. Barely, but yes. Ah! Can I stun you? The answer is also yes, as long as you're not attacking. Ah! Yes! Ow. Ha! You're on attacking! Oh, I'm way ahead of curve now! I'll explain that afterwards, actually. I'll explain the concept of curve once this fight's over, assuming I win. But the point is, actually, that I should be healing up right now, because I'm way ahead of curve. Ow! Ah. <sighs> Okay, good. Good dodge, bad dodge, bad healing timing, rather. Okay, so. Ugh, three tries. Same as last time. Same as last time that wasn't caught on camera. The last time caught on camera was 91, so. That's a 30 fold improvement! Hey! I did a thing! Alright, I, I should feel be, be happy about that. It only took me three tries. And the first try still felt like I could have taken it. Anyhow, the concept of curve that I was just mentioning right now is that, look at my Estus Flask. How many Estus do I have? I have... Oh, it's not showing up here. Okay, well... Whatever. I have three Estus, right? And the thing is, it's three out of nine. So, think about that in terms of proportion. That's 33%. Now, one thing that I found really useful, again, Bloodborne, specifically the Orphan of Cost fight in the DLC, which is the fight after the Maria fight, I found that the way to approach it was to use as many Blood Vials to keep myself topped up as there was proportion left in the boss's health. So if the boss is at half HP, then it was okay going down to 10 blood vials to remain fully healed, like get to full HP and stay there. So the idea being essentially that you don't want to use too much of your healing item because otherwise you'll run out and you can't heal up. But if you use not enough, then you die and you have healing items you could have used. In Bloodborne especially, that's extremely important because they don't regenerate when you get back. You have to buy every single blood vial or find them. So if you run out of blood vials that you could have had, that you could have held on to, but you ran out of them because you didn't use them and lost a fight, that's just lost forever. So instead, the best option I found is keep track of the boss's total HP, the proportion of HP left, and consider that relative to the proportion of healing items you have left, and make sure that if you're close to death, heal up, and if you're not close to death but could heal up fully, if doing so would not put your healing items below the boss's HP total by proportion, so in this case, healing up at this point if the boss was at 20% HP would be fine, because two-ninths is still higher than 20%. That's worth doing. Get to full HP. That way you don't die for nothing, but you also don't use up healing items that you could have not needed. And thus you don't run out. But yeah, I was like, Orphan of Cost specifically was the only fight I've ever found in any series that forced me to even think of that concept. And now I just think of it as being on or around curve. And that fight I was actually way ahead of curve because I did a lot of damage right at the start. And that was like, that was awesome. I didn't have to worry about it at all. It was like 30-50% HP, so I was golden. And that was fair and keep. So that was all of fair and keep. I don't think there's anything left, actually. That was... That was just about everything. Yeah, this is the path back that went from the Corvians on, and... Yep. That's it. So, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, which may not have sounded like it, but it's actually quite a bit. Especially having get, gotten rid of the Abyss Watchers in three tries and not 90 tries. Boy, that feels like exercising a demon. Granted, it's the second time, like I said, but this is a, with a melee build. Pure range gimmick build happens to work really well against the Abyss Watchers. 
It doesn't happen to work well against a lot of other bosses, though. Deacons of the Deep was an absolute nightmare for that build. But this build handles both rather handily. So, with that said, thank you for watching, and until next time, enjoy stuff. <laughs>